So we're back on Wall Street. Yeah, back on Wall Street. Uh, just had a couple of meetings, final day in New York. So got to get a few things tied up. And then we're going to head out this evening. Uh, so the other day we were talking about uh, the, predecessor and the stock mistakes exchange, young people make. The yeah. The people make in general. The two ways they kind of mistreat money yeah. and their perception of it. Yeah. What are the other ways people uh, get things wrong? Um, okay, so the other day we talked about uh, the function of money and not understanding the function of money and what it's there for. Um, but also talked about the uh, emotional aspects towards money. Uh, the other thing, the other thing that uh, people really get wrong is um, mixing up what an asset is and what a liability is. And if you remember uh, the other day when we talked about uh, the function of money, we talked about capital markets and we talked about money being a commodity and uh, money actually having a price. Well, in the debt market, uh, the price of money is interest, and uh, in the equity markets, uh, the price is that you're, you're giving away an equity stake in your company, and that's whether you're going to the public markets to raise equity capital, uh, or you're in the private market raising equity capital. Um, but debt and equity is very different. So equity, when you're raising capital uh, and giving equity in return, that's not necessarily a liability because it can actually be an asset. The investor or investors coming to your company who you're giving to it an equity stake to can actually bring something to the table and add value to your company. Now the debt market's totally different because you're paying interest and you're doing it on a schedule. Yes and you have a liability to make those payments on that schedule. And there's two ways of looking at it. There's debt within a company and debt that you take on personally. Now, when you take on debt in a company, you're the director of the company and you borrow money and the business has the exposure. The company has the exposure to the debt, not you personally. So although it's still a liability, it's a different liability. Inside a company, when you take on debt, the company is a uh, limited liability. Therefore, you as a person uh, do not have the exposure. The company does. Now, when you take on debt uh, personally, you're taking on the risk. You're signing up for the scheduled payments. And that is a liability that's different to when you do it through a company because if you don't stick to the payment schedule, then it means that you personally could end up insolvent, not a company, which is totally different. So, the, so even though debt is a liability in companies and uh, taking on personally, uh, it's a different type of liability. So for example, uh, mortgages, you know, that's the biggest liability somebody will ever take on in their life. But for the bank, that's an asset. Now, it was, it's obviously much more preferable uh, to buy that asset in cash because you could end up paying two and a half, three times more for the property uh, that you want to purchase, but you're doing it on a mortgage. You're taking a mortgage to purchase it. No wealthy people have liabilities. Wealthy people stick to the principle that they don't want to take on liabilities, they want to own assets. So it's obviously much more preferable to buy for cash. But people feel like they have no choice. Uh, but to borrow money in order to finance uh, a lifestyle that they can't afford right now for cash, but they pay over, let's say, 25 years. Um, but they do have an alternative, and that's what they don't realize. They can rent. Now, people think that renting is a liability and they kind of group it in the same basket as debt. Well, it's not debt. It's not a liability in the traditional sense. Uh, if you rent, it can actually be an asset because you have no risk. You can walk out the next month 
and you can you can leave any time right. and you have total freedom sure. and freedom is an asset and that's what wealthy people get they understand that um, people who don't really understand uh, money they mix up assets and liabilities and they think that taking on a mortgage and uh, having it secured on a home that it's some sort of asset it's not it's a major major liability and what it essentially does is just put you uh, in a trap and the owner of that debt uh, is receiving the payments and you're paying them and you you end up on this scheduled payment hamster wheel that is essentially a trap and you can't get out of it unless you pay it off so when you look at all uh, liabilities in debt in uh, for people individually not for companies it's all about mortgages credit cards overdraft facilities borrowing money to buy cars you know these are all the mistakes that people make they don't think freedom is an asset and they sign themselves up and they get trapped one of the biggest rules and biggest principles to stick to is to actually go ahead and buy everything for cash if you can because the asset now is better to own than in the future if you want to buy that asset you should want to own it now and own it outright so rent for 10 years 10 15 years and even if the property price goes up it doesn't matter it means over those over that period you haven't had a liability you've actually had an asset over that period because you've had freedom sure. and then if you end up buying it at a higher price it doesn't matter you own it for cash and you've had no liability in between so this is absolutely essential it's a principle that everybody should be sticking to otherwise people get trapped and they end up on the hamster wheel this infrastructure that uh, is built in the Western world where people borrow money to eventually own assets but have liabilities in between this infrastructure isn't necessarily designed to benefit you it's primarily designed to benefit the owners of the infrastructure what you actually have to do is own your own infrastructure and have no liabilities so if you have zero now you have to stick to this principle and get to a point where you own infrastructure with no liabilities in between how and do you do that? <laughs> how do you build your own infrastructure yeah. okay well you listen we're gonna get yeah we're gonna get in a cab now and head back up to the hotel before we go to uh before we go to the airport if we jump in the cab now i'll show you how to build your own infrastructure okay